So if you're anything like me, chances are your Steam client went ahead and downloaded the latest version of Grand Theft Auto V to your computer. Under normal circumstances, this would not be a problem, except those of us single-player modifiers are in a little bit of a bind now because the latest version of Script Hook 5 does not support the latest version of Grand Theft Auto V. The latest version supported is 1.0.1032.1. And with the actions of Take-Two Interactive and Rockstar, there is the uh, more than slight possibility that it may not be updated again. So, this video I'm going to show you how to downgrade your version of Grand Theft Auto V for Steam to 1.0.1032.1. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is come down to your Steam client. Get over here, because you're not going to want this to happen again. Go to your library, go to your games, go to your Grand Theft Auto V, right-click, go to Properties, go to the Update tab. Under Automatic Updates, select Only Update This Game When I Launch It. That way... Steam doesn't decide to do whatever it feels like in the background updating files that it shouldn't be updating whether you like it or not. So now it won't do that until you go to launch the game, in which case you should have time to get things done before everything all goes and messes up on you. Go to your Windows Explorer and find your Grand Theft Auto V directory. For most of you, this will probably be in your C drive, Program Files, or Program Files x86. Mine being a solid state drive, I prefer to keep my games off it, so they are down here. From here, it should be identical for Steam users. Steam apps, common, Grand Theft Auto V. There are your executables. Check out file version 1.0.1103.2. That is the latest version as of June 2017. Now, if you're smart, unlike me, you actually backed up your original files before the update occurred. But if you are like me, you had to go searching for game executables to download. I found out something when I was searching for my downloads. The Steam version and the retail version are not the same. The file size, you can see the file size is different. 57.9.10 for the retail version and 57.9.95 for the Steam version. They still have the same file version, though, so that will confuse some of you out there. Probably most of you. It confused me at first why it wouldn't work. So, I downloaded the Steam version, because I have the Steam version. But the next thing you're going to want to do is back up these two files to its own directory. While you're at it, go ahead and go to your update folder in Grand Theft Auto V and grab the update.rpf and throw it down here, too. Then, we can go back to the Steam folder and take these two, copy them over to Grand Theft Auto V. Copy. Do not move. Because if something happens, then you just lost them all over again. So copy and replace. Then take the update RPF and do the exact same thing with the update folder. Copy and replace. Now you should have these file versions in the Grand Theft Auto folder. But wait, this isn't the end of it. Because for some reason, it doesn't work just doing that. Okay, I am going to start the game using Steam again. But for some reason, this is what happens. I put in my code for the game that I got legally with Steam, but it doesn't work. It just says this code has already been used. So what do we do now? Well, glad you asked. This is the part where you go down to the video description and find a link for GTA V Launcher Bypass. Go to this page, hit the download link, but I've already downloaded it so I don't need to do that again. I am just going to go to my mods folder and drag these two files out. GTA V Launcher Bypass.ASI and INI. Drag those over to Grand Theft Auto V. And then you will need to create a special launcher, which is nothing more than a shortcut to GTA 5.exe directly. Easiest way to do that I found is to just go back to your Grand Theft Auto V folder. Right-click on GTA 5.exe, copy, minimize, 
and then go to your desktop or wherever you happen to want to place the file and hit paste shortcut there you go now you have a direct line to the Grand Theft Auto 5 executable name this whatever you want call it screw T2 if you want <laughs> that's the way it works and then we can start this up you cannot use Steam anymore don't use the Steam launcher don't use GTA V launcher .exe. just use screw T2 And as you can see, I am now in game. But oh me! Now I got to get all my mods back in there. So now I can come back down to my active folder and drag all of this fun stuff over to Grand Theft Auto 5. I don't worry about the log files, so we'll just skip all three of them. And then we can close this out entirely and forget about it. And since I already have a link, I am just going to delete Screw T2, even though T2 really should just screw themselves. Uh, okay, and now we should go into a modded version of the game. Now, I am driving a pickup instead of a car. And I also just threw that truck across the road by just touching it. So that was awesome. <laughs> yes, I just totally screwed up this trash compactor. Totally annihilated it by touching it. I don't play this so well with a keyboard, so I'm not going to do that right now. But as you can see... Menu trainer still works. I have go away. trainer V and a whole bunch of other things. I got a riot mode. I've got angry planes. I've got a whole bunch of different mods. I just killed a whole bunch of people and it shows up on my uh, kill streak over there on the right. So it's just a whole bunch of fun stuff here. Go ahead and X out of this. Open 4 still works. A lot of people are saying that Open 4 doesn't work anymore. It still works. In fact, uh, I found out it actually still works in the new game version as well. You just don't get any script hook access there. But it still works. But anyway, that will be it. Happy modding, and I hope this was helpful. As a little bit of extra content, I am going to show you how you can disable the message from Open 4 latest version saying to uninstall now or uninstall later or whatever the hell it says. I don't remember anymore. You come over here, you gotta find the file to begin with. Local, and it's in New Technology Studio Apps Open 4. So there it is. Now, all you need is a hex editor and you will need to open this file in the hex editor okay I have the original still so I can actually show you on the fly take this right here and yeah E8AC70FDFF find that string by going up here and it's right here so now all you gotta do with this 9090909090 that will erase the message or I don't know I don't think it actually erases the message but it doesn't allow it to come up when you start up open 4 anymore no I'm not gonna save it because that's the original but I'll come over here and open 4 Windows and there you go no message and all you gotta do to disable updates 
is go to your Windows firewall. Go to your outbound rules in your firewall and add a rule. As you can see, I have blocked this connection. So no future updates for my Open 4. You can still change whatever RPF file you want, whatever. Everything here, that's all of my modded files. So it's all good still. And this is the latest version. Build 906 from 6.14.2017. This is the latest version and it does not show the message anymore after you change those hex data. So there you go. A little quick deal there.